What is up YouTube? This is your boy KG. Today, we're going to talk about the Frontliners. What's up YouTube? This is your boy KG. Before anything else, I just want to let you know that I am doing a giveaway. That's right. Giveaway. You heard that right. It's going to be a Scorpion EX0, EXO9420. It's a helmet. It's actually a pretty cool helmet. I've seen it in person. Uh, a couple of my friends has it. And um, once we reach 1,000 subscribers, I'm gonna pick a random person, wherever it is, United States, Philippines, India, Russia, China, I will be sending this to you for free. All you have to do is like, comment, and of course, subscribe. You can also share this video so that some of your friends who uh, also ride like me can get this helmet for free. So without any further ado, let's get to the topic. Today, we'll be talking about Coronavirus. That's right, coronavirus. Uh, a while ago, I posted on my Facebook, as uh, as some of you guys, if you have a question to our first responder, frontliners out there, what would it be? So, um, some of you commented on my uh, my post, so I took some of uh, that questions and asked them. And uh, today is a sad, sad day for. Um, whole world actually not just the United States and uh, we're facing this pandemic a very sad day for everyone especially to those who lost their loved ones their friends their neighbors and their, their co-workers we want to let you know that you guys are in our thoughts and prayers and for our first responder frontliners like me um, we are in this together so without any further ado here are the uh, friends of mine who will be uh, answering some of your questions. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Maria Lorna Fineza II. I was an ICU nurse for neonates in St. Luke's Global City Medical Center back in the Philippines. And then I worked as a medical transport team, team leader as well in Singapore. So I chose the medical field. I guess it was it was within me since I was young, since I was a kid, because life sciences made more sense than math, than numbers, than history. I wasn't really good in remind, reminding myself about names, dates, especially. But for me, life sciences made more sense having to know the rationale behind a disease, an illness, or something that makes a person uncomfortable, something that makes them suffer a certain uh, condition. It made me be able to relate to, to them as a person rather than relate to equations, numbers, and all this formula. So at the end of the day, it made me feel, I guess you can say, fulfilled. That at the end of the day, you're, you're able to meet their needs. You're able to be there for them. Even to at least just give them that sense of feeling that you have resolved whatever uncomfortable or uncomfortable feeling or discomfort that they were having at that certain moment. That you were able to address that or you were able to give them explanation on how they could probably feel better for me that was that was it i realized that i'm more into relating to people one-on-one -on -one, having to deal with them helping them getting them through a certain stage and it might be like a an eight hour shift a 12 hour shift but at the end of the day it's that feeling that you were able to really be there. And at, the, at that point, you would feel and you would know 
to yourself that you've touched a life of a person. All right. First question, what keeps you motivated and hopeful during this pandemic? Well, as a physical therapist, what keeps me motivated and hopeful during this pandemic is that the idea that I can help those people um, that are who are in need. How are we going to do that? Of course, by providing quality physical therapy services to them. Um, during this time of pandemic, even before, my number one priority as a physical therapist, of course, is the well-being of my patient. Um, I am dedicated to assist my patient to achieve their maximum level of physical function after being affected by the pandemic. During this time, I am hopeful that um, I can still render my services and contribute to those patients who are in need for them to be able to return to their normal function. So that's one of my motivation. It is my duty and my commitment to empower and motivate those people or those patients that are affected by the pandemic to trust to them to trust on themselves again and function normally again. So those are the reason why I'm motivated to continue my work as a physical therapist. Um, I also know that as a part of the healthcare system that the rehabilitation system or the rehabilitation team can contribute to lessen the load of the problem during this time of the pandemic. Um, next question. Do you ever thought of quitting? Um, I know that every day, every time I go to the clinic, every time I go to work, I'm putting myself at risk. But unfortunately, I cannot quit because it's my duty and my commitment to serve my patients as a physical therapist. Um, I don't want to give up because I know there's patients and their families that are that are depending on me to help them out to get better. So that's the reason why I don't want to quit my job as a physical therapist during this time of pandemic. Um, I know that God is in control and nothing is impossible in Him. So sooner or later, there will be treatment that will be later be discovered. But for the meantime, all we have to do is keep on hanging on and keep on doing our job and help out those people who are in need. Thank you. Hi, my name is Chang. I am a registered nurse in New York Presbyterian. I'm truly blessed to be a nurse and I found this um, career as a, my passion. And I thank the Lord for giving me the opportunity to take care of patients. My recent experience with uh, COVID-19 crisis is really hard. We have a lot of patients on the floor and I work in labor and delivery. It is truly an opportunity to take care of patients, most specifically healthy patients, because we have healthy moms going through the floor with the labor process. But with this recent crisis, they were infected with COVID-19 and they cannot go through the process with their husband. And one day I went to work, there, there was a pregnant woman, she is healthy, and she deteriorated very quick. She doesn't have anybody beside her except me. She only trusted few people because of her race and I'm very happy to serve her. I was with her through the labor process for eight hours. She was fine in the beginning, but later on, she cannot breathe. It was really hard because you have to call the husband throughout the time. You are doing FaceTime with the husband and you are wearing your PPEs with a mask and you cannot breathe normally as usual. There are lots of things running on my mind, especially if ever one of my loved ones will be in that situation. But still, I am very thankful none of them has it, but I am called to work as a frontliner to take care of that patient. We had a baby, the father was not there, but both the mom and the baby were safe. With the experience that I have, I could say that it is very challenging 
really have to put yourself on other patients' shoes so that you could relate how much are they suffering, how much they needed people to be with their side without anybody else. But I realized also that we have to take care of ourselves as frontliners because if ever we will be sick, we cannot take care of others. Given this crisis, given these tough times, I also realized that life is very precious. We have to take care each of each other. We have to protect ourselves. We have to wear a mask and we have to wash our hands as what CDC says. With all these experiences that I have, they're gonna be a new normal. We cannot go back to the old self that we have. We cannot go back to the old ways that we have. All we have to do is move on, be positive, take care of ourselves. So I think this opportunity also given the chance to be interviewed, given the chance to be asked of my recent experience because not everybody will be given the opportunity to share. And it's very therapeutic. So I just hope whatever we are experiencing right now, we'll get through it, we'll be more hopeful, we'll be more confident, we'll be more positive, and we'll all be blessed. Hi, my name is Nikki. I'm a registered nurse here in Las Vegas. I'm working in Sunrise Hospital Medical Center and I'm assigned to medical cardiac unit and I'm also a COVID certified nurse. And you heard that right. So initially in this difficult times, um, uh, well, I'm just gonna commend my state right now, Nevada that they're able to flatten the curve but then you know if ever we got that peak I'm just saying that we're not ready we're just not ready um, in my nine years career as a registered nurse I haven't seen this amount of people dying because of the same because of the same virus and um, it's sad because a lot of people they're um, taking this virus for granted they think this is just a regular cough and cold that it's not as contagious as flu they don't they just don't care and it also saddens me that my patients these patients that die they died alone they don't get to say goodbye to their families they don't it, it, and it, it's hard to be on their position when you're very very sick and only thing that you want to cling on is to be with your family or get to see them one last time but you never get that chance because of this virus this virus took that away from them took their lives took them from their loved ones their loved ones are so devastated and as a registered nurse it's overwhelming because you know it's um it's hard to see that amount of patients that you know they're de deteriorating right in front of you on the other hand i'm also happy that we're able to send 100 patients home and 50 percent of them 50 percent of the population um we were able to send them in skilled nursing facility where they continue their care and um just very part very proud of my team you know my my managers they're very very hands-on with us and the support is there um i would like to thank the other frontliners who's risking their lives the police the grocery people the evs um the firefighters the ems everybody just everybody who helps the community who helps everybody around everybody's who's donating their stuff everybody's you know just everybody who helps each other and I'm um, I'm just glad that some people still think of others and um, yeah thank you so much and um, please 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 don't take this virus for granted wash your hands do extra precautions take your vitamins this virus is not a joke and i've seen it firsthand this is not a joke
There you go, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.